Hello everybody, it's Scott Omaro. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a launch problem with Minecraft in the Twitch launcher that started occurring in the latest versions in 1.14.4 and above. And it's in relationship to this bug. I'll leave a link to the description so you can read the bug report. Uh, but they actually had to release a new version of the legacy launcher, the jar launcher. Let me show you what the problem is first. So we'll do it in Twitch. This affects some uh, Mac systems and Windows systems that um, can't have the uh, native launcher or the native launcher won't work along with Twitch um, but it also does affect Linux systems in the Mojang launcher okay but if you uh, try to launch the newer versions of Minecraft this is a 1.14 profile using uh, the 1.6.91 launcher you can see that here in the top of the menu bar it's the 1.6.91 launcher and that is what ships with twitch currently uh, on these systems when you choose jar launcher then you're just going to get this endless loading okay and it have to has to do with the obfuscation uh, that's a hard word um, obfuscation that is the way that they are encrypting certain data or whatever that got changed in this release and so the uh, profiles and stuff never get loaded or updated all right so you'll continually have this so we have to install an update to this launcher that twitch uses and i'll show you how to do that all right so here in the bug report again i'll link it and i'll link in the description it's going to give you a download here all right in this mod notice um, and if you were on Linux and you were using the regular Mojang launcher or even any other system affected by it that it's using the jar launcher, then it'll update automatically. It should. Okay. Uh, if not, uh, let me know and I'll maybe do another video about how to replace it in the Mojang launcher. But I am able to run the native launcher um, in the regular Mojang on my Mac and I don't, I don't really mess with that. So, but let me know. So basically download it here. I'll also leave a link in the description. This is pulling it directly from Mojang servers. Um, so it's a, obviously a safe link. Okay, then what you wanna do is you want to go into your Twitch. And again, I'm gonna do it cross platform because they're basically the same. So go to settings, look at Minecraft, see where your Minecraft path is. Okay, find out where that path is. And mine's in a dot my documents folder then open that documents folder okay let me get back to the mods yeah open the documents folder and find your curse install so here i'm in the curse folder root of documents then inside of that there's a folder called minecraft okay we can look at that then there's a folder called install okay install right here so open that install folder that's where we are in the path and then there's a folder named game okay right here game and this is the launcher that you're going to have launcher.jar which is 1.6.91 again in the latest installs all right um we need to get this 1.6.93 in there so that's the one i downloaded it'll come down just as that name name just like you see here uh, move it from your downloads folder into this game folder okay and then we just want to take this old launcher right here and just back it up whatever i just name it the version number so i know what it is 1.6.91 okay and then we want to remove the numbers the version numbers from this other one so it just says launcher jar okay now as i remember downloading it this will probably come downloaded as launcher.jar you could just replace that one that was in there because it would be named launcher jar as well uh, but it's good to make a backup. So basically just rename it to 1.6.91. And uh, then as long as the one's called launcher.jar, that's the one it'll use. Okay, that's the one that Twitch will use. So we don't have to restart or anything. It's already, as soon as we push play, it's going to load that newest launcher right here. The launcher.jar. 1.6.93. Okay. And so it'll find what it needs. It'll still show like the old update page and stuff like that because that's online. Uh, this is actually a Tumblr page um, that they just have old news and they've never updated it or whatever because they've converted all their resources over to the native launcher. But they were nice enough to release this patched version. Um, of course, it's their fault. They broke it. They were screw screwing with 
the way stuff was encrypted and whatever as well. Uh, but this does now work. So you just press play and it'll give you your Minecraft. So that will fix it. And it's pretty easy to do. And I hope this video was short and concise enough. Let me know if you have any questions uh, in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. Anyways, this is Scott Omato. Have a great day. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.